Yo, what's going on guys? It's JD here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nobody Spent Road to Glory, the final Friday of Season 4. This time next week it is going to be Season 5 and I am so excited. I'm fully expecting to see in this spot right here a Dark Matter card. For the first time this year, I think we're going to be able to see what the card art looks like and the design and I hope it's going to be sick. But today was the final big content drop, of course we do have another set of moments coming on Tuesday with Galaxy Opal Clay, but today was the final big set and it was an Idols promo and as expected it was Galaxy Opal Yao Ming and Galaxy Opal Jeremy Lin as well, Lin Sanity back at it again, Diamond Dwayne Wade, Diamond Yi and a Pink Diamond Kenya Martin, pretty good set, some cards good, some cards not so much, that Yao not looking too good, not gonna lie, um, but we also have Limited open, and of course it is the final weekend of Limited, so Westbrook is available today. And because of that, we have made a lot of MT from our investments. Not a range extender, but our investments of uh, Intimidator have gone up and we have sold. We also bought Lonzo and we've sold Lonzo, so we've got a lot of MT to cash in on. And then of course, you guys saw yesterday, we are two thirds of the way through this set right here, the Possessed set. And uh, we don't quite have enough yet for Vince Carter. He's like 250k, I don't want to pay that. But if he comes down to like 200k, I'll take it. So let's go ahead and jump into today's episode, guys. If you are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe for daily streams and daily videos. And a huge thank you to the goats of the channel. Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Caleb, Andrew, Josh, Hammer. And a special shout out to my guy, Aiden. Right, which Idols player am I adding to my team? Um, Probably Yi, not going to lie. Um, Yao, no. Kenyon Martin, no. Uh, Jeremy Lin is incredible, but I think he's going to be quite expensive. Now, in terms of XP, 5,600 away from level 39. Tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, by tomorrow, we will be able to have our level 39 Hall of Fame badge pack, and I really hope it's going to be something good. In terms of XP, we have got new win the weekends, of course. We've got new uh, the moments challenges that were still there from yesterday, but we come down here, and we have new... Yao Ming Idol Series, so 950 for the Ruby, 1600 for the Amethysts, 2000 for the Diamonds, 2000, uh, where are we? 2500 for the Pink Diamond, and then 3000 for the Opals, with 250 from the Weekly Challenge. And then down here, we've got Week 6 stuff, so I've already done the first set. We've done all of them bar one in the second set, and we will do these other bits here as well. So as long as we do a few players, we're easily going to be there. And then as for Kawhi Leonard, it's still looking okay, just about, and I'm going to do some of these as well before they expire. But I was really expecting for more from today. Like I said, today's the final big content drop, so all you can expect for now in terms of XP is going to be obviously new dailies every single day. Next week on Tuesday, we're going to get new Spotlight XP, and then hopefully next Thursday, we'll get new Moments cards. That's it. Boy, boys, that's it. So if you haven't got Kawhi, you're still a long way away from him. You've got to make do with what we've got in the game, which really is not that much right about now so we do have a new moment challenge which we will get through of course at some point to get that pack obviously this season's done us crazy good with uh this game right here that inferno pack getting us that galaxy triple bronze still can't believe that happened domination was still 10 games away so we are making very very slow progress and then limited is open as mentioned it is the final weekend for limited so if you get your six rings you'll get westbrook as soon as you pick that sixth ring but for me i've got five and i'm gonna stay on five and i'm not touching limited at all this weekend you can see right here it says there's packs in it but there's no diamond packs there's no hall of fame badge it's flash five six idols ad inferno and retro packs i'm not too fussed and for the fact that you've got to use just rubies and golds I'm good, 2K. I'm good. So I'm going to happily take the weekend off limited. And then on Monday, we will cash in our Hall of Fame badge. And again, hopefully get something really good out of there. Right, we have got two locker codes to put in. We have got the Evo card from yesterday, which was Kenrick Williams. Didn't put it in yesterday. Not really too fussed about doing the card, not going to lie. I think he's okay. Uh, but we'll do him for XP, even though the XP is very minimal. I think he has 350 to his name. And that's it. So we've got this code to put in, and then we've also got the code which came out from the packs today. But again, it's not a guaranteed pack, because why would they give us guaranteed packs like they did a long time ago? Why, why go away from something good and make it worse? I don't know, it's 2k, isn't it? So, Idol Series 2, Galaxy Triple Yao is the next code we've got to put in. Oh, actually, and then we've also got the Chinese New Year locker code to put in. Well done me for remembering that, because I nearly forgot. I knew there was more than two codes I had to put in today. Right, let's get this one. Let's put the Yao one in, and let's put in the Chinese New Year one. Now, out of that, I think there's a 
a pack which gets you any player with the number 8, or 8 tokens, or 888 MT, I think. Very similar to the Rui Hachimura locker code as well, um, which I think is still active if you haven't put that one in. So it's not a good locker code by any stretch of the imagination, but it is still a locker code, right? Idol Series 2, Galaxy Opal Yao. Now, for these packs, we opened up five. Five? Why did I open up five? I opened up five, which is obviously 50,000 MTs worth, which sucks. Um, all right, I've got to try and find this locker code now. Uh, so let's see what we can get here. Oh, I didn't even see where I dropped it. We get one token, boys. Big up the one token gang, great, grand, fantastic. And then for the Chinese New Year one, I believe it is this. And I hope it's still active right now. I know it dropped last night, but is this still gonna be active? I mean, this looks obviously strange, but it does work. There we go, cool, nice, we like that. So, like I said, it's got an eight uh, or eight tokens or 888 MT. So yeah, give me the eight tokens or give me the player, either one is fine. Don't really want 888 MT, not gonna lie. And obviously with season five, literally around the corner, which is so exciting. It's the MT, isn't it? It's not, uh, which is so exciting. We need to get ourselves 1200 tokens and we get eight more there, so that's nice. Because when we hit 1200, we can get an Opal straight away and obviously that's going to be very nice and handy. Right, from our weekly wheel spin. Of course, we've got a Ruby player because why wouldn't we, man? Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we log in every day to get absolutely disappointed by a Ben Simmons card. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. It's such a waste of time. I'd honestly rather not have it because it just gives you the hope and then you get absolutely nothing for it. So that sucks. Right, badge pack is going to be gold. And uh, it's going to be tight handles. I don't think that's really, I don't think that's really anything. And then this Mimi, mi mi? this Moments Evo, Kenrick Williams. Let's get him out of here. Let's see him walk out because Amethysts are still walkouts for some apparent reason. And uh, yeah, let's get him into the club. It is good that 2K have done a lot more Evos lately. In the set that came out today, there's three Evos. Kenya Martin, uh, Jared Sullinger, and Kyle Anderson as well. And obviously this Kenrick Williams who came out yesterday. So that's pretty good. Fair play to 2K for bringing back Evos because we all wanted to see Evos back in the game. Right, auction outcomes. Let's cash in. So Lonzo, huge L. Bought him for 92, sold for 82. You hate to see it. Now... With Limited this weekend being all rubies, ruby cards have gone up quite a lot. So Mo Bamba, 8.5k, Isaac Bonga, 5.5. And then these random dudes, Lafonso Ellis, Paul Silas, that's a ruby season of giving Giannis, Larry Markkinen, Scalabrini, Bargnani, and then we've got quite a few, uh, Rafe, Rafe and Francis as well, quite a few Intimidator badges. Now, if you guys remember a little while ago, we invested in all of these Intimidators for this very day. We picked them up between like three and 4,000 MT, and I did it because that Westbrook right there comes with Bronze Intimidator. So I knew as soon as today came around, everybody was gonna be looking for Silver and Gold Intimidator. And that's exactly what they did, and that is exactly what we can cash in now, and uh, that is very nice. So that's gonna put us close to 300K. And I'm very happy with that. So that investment has paid off big time. We made a lot of MT, a lot of profit from that, which is good. And I've just got one Intimidator there, which is left to sell. Now, badges, of course, you guys know the main investment I've got this year are these range extender badges. And I was looking forward to Yao coming out because I thought, you know, if Yao comes out and he doesn't have range, which he doesn't, and he can hold range, which he can't, then uh, price of this would have gone crazy. It's already kind of up to like 12k, which is nice, so, or 11k right there. So it is sort of getting up there a little bit, and that's just within like a couple of hours today with the hope that we we're going to be able to put it on this card. Uh, but he can't hold range, which sucks, makes me big sad, so we're going to have to wait another day. But we do now have 300,000 MT to our name to try and pick up this card, which we're easily going to be able to do. We do have to buy a couple of the new cards coming out, but of course, when we get Clay, not Clay, when we get Kawhi, we can sell this Rudy Fernandez, and that's going to be another sort of like 50k coming into the club. So that's not too bad at all. Right, let's have a look at the new cards that came out today. So Ruby Kyle Anderson, 6'9", power forward, small forward. He is an Evo. He does go up to the Amethyst tier, and he's really bad to Evo. 30 steals and 30 blocks. Ew, 30 steals, that's awful. But off rip at, li at Ruby level for limited, he'd actually be quite nice. He's really, really well rounded. He doesn't have range, but he does get range when he is Evoed. But obviously, if he's Evoed, then you can't use him. But as a Ruby card, fantastic. 42 gold badges, fair play. 
he is looking very nice indeed. Then we've got Al Harrington coming through with exactly the same card art as he had in his Pink Diamond card last year. So if the picture looks familiar, it is familiar. Uh, but anyway, he's coming in with Intimidator, Rebound Chaser, Contact Finisher. I think he's got Range Extender. He does have Range Extender, so he's got quite a lot going for him. 79 Driver Layout, he doesn't have that going for him though. And 80 Driver Dunk, so driving is pretty low on this card. Shooting is very good. Passing, not too bad. Defensively, average, very average. Rebounding is okay, and then speed is average, very average. So Al Harrington's not really anybody or anything to write home about. And then we have our second Evo card of the day, which is an Amethyst Jared Sullinger. Now, the one thing to note about Evo cards, guys, is you cannot add badges to them. 2K can add badges with the Evo, but you cannot add any badges to the cards. So I think after his Evo, he does become quite good. However, this down here doesn't get changed. So 76 speed and acceleration and 75 lateral quickness. That does not get updated with his Evo. And obviously 6-9 at the power, at the centre position, a little bit undersized. So you play him at power forward, but you're not playing him at power forward with 75 speed. So sadly, that is quite a bit of an L of a card. But moving on to a W of a card, it is Yi Yanlin. Oh, I think, I don't know, I'll call him Yi. And that'll do for now. But 11 Hall of Fames, 36 gold, catch and shoot, intimidator, rebound chaser, quick first step. Very nice. And then gold dimer, gold heart crusher. He doesn't have range. So maybe that'll make Rangers price go up a little bit, but it hasn't, so I doubt it. Flexible releases there, though, which is good. Uh, and yeah, badges to add to this card would be Clamps. Doesn't have Clamps either. So no Clamps, no Showtime, no range. He doesn't need Giant Slayer because man is a Giant. Uh, he doesn't have Dead Eye either. But 86 Driving Out, 85 Driving Dunk. Now he does have a 7 foot 4 wingspan, which is good. 88 Mid and 3, 83 Ball Control. Nice well-rounded defense, great rebounding, and pretty good speed. 78 Lateral Quickness isn't great, but... 83 speed and acceleration isn't too bad. So that's actually a card that is not too shabby. And then speaking of cards that's not too shabby, Dwayne Wade from the Bulls with arguably the best card art that's come out today, I would say. Uh, and he's got a very, very similar card to my man on the right-hand side of the screen, the Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. So obviously my one's got extra badges to it, but off-rip, the only differences are the Galaxy Opal has three badges that the Diamond has pushed up to gold from no, pushed up to Hall of Fame from gold, and my one has got range extender gold, which this one does not have. So the new one doesn't have range extender. But in terms of the stats, and obviously bear in mind mine's got a diamond shoe on it. Bearing in mind stats, plus five to the driving layout, plus five driving dunk. The three ball is a plus five as well. Passing, ball control is exactly the same. I'm going to take away the shoe. Defensively, plus nine on the block, plus four on the steel. And then speed and everything, sort of plus one or plus two. It's not a massive difference. It really, really isn't. And then tendencies, everything is a copy and paste. It's not a huge difference. If you didn't grind for Galaxy Opal Wade, you've got him. Basically, you've got 90% of him. Now, one thing to note, he has got different positions. So my one can play point guard, which is where I play him, and he's brilliant there. But this new one is a shooting guard small forward. So do bear that in mind if you are looking to go ahead and pick him up. Then I had a Kenyon Martin who's selling for 300k. Kenyon Martin who's selling for 300. Why has this one got a bit of three? Why have you bid that one then? What's wrong with all these ones? Why has somebody bid 300k on this card? I don't get it. He's another Evo card and he does go up to the Opal tier. I think he needs 10 games of 50 points or more. Three triple doubles and then something else I think. Um, so it's not a ridiculously hard Evo. You'll be able to do that in a couple of hours. Catch and shoot, corner specialist, rim protector, intimidators there, giant slayer, quick first step, very nice. Dimer, clamps. Now, one thing to note, when he gets Evoed, and again, you can't add badges to this card, when he gets Evoed, he still does not have flexible release or dead eye, but I think he does have range. So no flexible, no dead eye, you can't add those to him. But he gets an 88 driving lap, 98 driving knock already. His three ball goes up from 84 to 88, I know that one. Defense is already brilliant, rebounding is already brilliant, and speed, to be fair, is already brilliant. So the card's fantastic, but my goodness, is it 300k fantastic? No. Oh my god. One million MT, one million MT on a Jeremy Lin. Wow. And that is a difference of eight seconds right there. 400k, eight seconds. Mad. It pays to be the first one to pull a good card out of sets. That's mental. Uh, I guess we will compare him to our Damian Lillard right here. So Jeremy Lin, 24 Hall of Fame badger. Let me just say off rip, 
This card is ridiculous. Absolutely exceptional. Diamond Clamps, Heart Crusher, Intimidator, Giant Slayer, Quick First Step, Handles for Days, Dead Eye, Range, Floor General. He is brilliant, and there's not a single badge that this guy is missing that I put on him. I don't think anyway. No, there's not. There's not a single badge this card doesn't have that I put on him. 94 driving layup, 95 driving dunk. Great shooting, great passing, great defense. 80 block, 80 interior defense, 80 rebounding, and then great speed. Uh, absolutely incredible. Is he worth 1 million MT? Hell no. Nah. But is he worth quite a bit because he's one of the best point guards in the game right now? Yes. Absolutely. And then to the headliner of the set, I say headliner a bit, a bit loosely right there because it's Yao Ming. And he's just not that guy, man. He's just not. So obviously he is seven foot six. Man's a giant. Seven foot five wingspan on him. He's got a couple of badges. Obviously he's got all of the defensive badges at the Hall of Fame level, pretty much. And then he doesn't have any shooting badges really, apart from Hot Start, Hot Zone Hunter, Green Machine. And then badges that he's needing. Obviously he needs range, but he can't get it, which sucks. Uh, Diamond doesn't have clamps. Doesn't have contact finisher. Doesn't have Showtime, doesn't have Downhill, doesn't have Quick First Step, doesn't have Dead Eye. There's a few badges he needs, and then stats wise, they're not the prettiest boys. I'm not going to lie to you. 78 driving layup, 75 driving dunk. So driving is not good. 92 mid range is great, but a 73 three ball is not great. No real passing or, or ball control, obviously. Great defense, apart from the perimeter, 68. That's not ideal. And then the speed is just, is it's really bad. 68 speed. And acceleration and 68 lateral quickness. That is rough. That is comparable with George Mikan, who came out a long damn time ago. Like, like it's, it's not good. It's not good. So if I see a Yao Ming, I'm not really going to be scared. I'm going to be more than happy to bring him out to the perimeter, make him, uh, make him dance on the outside. And I don't think he's going to be able to keep up with that lateral quickness and the lack of perimeter defense as well. So it's a bit of a shame it was that card leading the way. Uh, I think the Jeremy Lin card is definitely better. No no question about that in my mind. And it's just such a shame that he can't hold range because I'm still holding on to my 100. 100 range extended, still holding on. And hopefully one day we'll be able to sell him off for quite a bit of profit. But that is going to do it from me today, boys. Hope you have enjoyed. As mentioned, hopefully tomorrow it'll be level 39, Hall of Fame badge pack time. We've got a little bit to do tonight, 5.5k, but I reckon we can do it. So that's going to do it for me. Hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.